Welcome back guys to Jarrett the Journeyman. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kane Monroe and I've been in the electrical field for 27 years now. So I've seen a little bit of stuff. So today we're going to go over the calculation for a single electric range over 12 kW to 27 kW. And that will be out of the 2020 NEC. And then we will be using table 220. 55. So, um, let me get you guys going on this on the pad here. Excellent. All right. So at, um, table 220.55, let's look at that. And on row one of the, uh, table, you'll see that it's for one appliance. And then all the way over to the, <clears throat> excuse me, to the right hand side, in column C, there is um, an eight, which is for um, eight thousand watts, because the this is for ranges um, eight and three quarter, ranges larger than eight and three quarter to twelve kW. It tells you that. Um, the maximum is in, from column B to column C. So um, 8, 8 kW is already figured out for you uh, for this. So if you have a range that goes from 9 kW to 12 kW, all you have to do is you have to look in this this table and they've already figured out the, the uh, demand factor for you or the load actually this isn't the demand factor for the load for those sizes of ranges um, also if you were to look in columns a and b take a look at those those are your demand factors so that means those are multipliers that you'll have to use to figure out your loads for those smaller ranges um, but column c is already figured out for you that that is the load itself. They've already done all the, the math for you. They've done everything for you. So column C is not a multiplier. It is a true number that is going to stay with you. You don't have to rework it. You don't have to do anything to it. Just use that. But today, remember, we'll, we'll be in, we will be in row one because we'll be using one. Um, we'll be figuring out for one load of a range, just one range. And... Um, and it's going to be larger than 12 kW. So remember, a 12 kW range is actually 8 kW. They figured that out for us, for us already. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, let's go to... Also, we need to go to note 1 below the table. And let's take a look at that. So note 1 reads... Um, over 12 kW through 27 kW ranges, all of all of same rating. For ranges individually rated more than 12 kW, but no more than 27 kW, the maximum demand in column C shall be increased 5% of each additional kilowatt of rating or major fraction thereof by which the rating of the individual ranges exceed 12 kW. So 12 kW is kind of the thing. 12 kW is the limit. After 12 kW, you take this note into consideration. So that being said, let's say, let me get this going. Um, so we have a 14 kW range. Now we have to figure out. Now we have to figure out our calculation for our load. Well, we know that um, 12 kW. We have to subtract this from 12 kW because column C stops at 12 kW, so we have two. And then according to note one, we have to multiply that times 0 0.05 because five percent. For every range over 12 which is um, which is 2 because of 14 minus 12 is 2 
so that's 0 0.10 and now we so we have that now we have to put it back into the 8000 remember the 8 that was um that was in column C first row for 12 between uh, 9 and 12 kW ranges um, is 8. So 8,000 watts. Multiply it times 0 0.10. The 0 0.10 is right here. And so that will be 800. Don't stop there. Don't stop there. Think about this. Um, if a 12 kW range is 8,000, a 14 kW range has got to be greater than 8,000. So if you see 800, keep going. Now we have to add it back to the 8,000. That's an addition. And now you have a range that is 8,800 watts. And if we want to take it back to KW, it will be 8.8 KW. Remember when you're converting from KW to watts or watts to KW, we're taking that decimal point, we're moving it three places to the right or three places to the left, depending on what, how you want to change it. So, so down here for watts, we have here, we move it one two and three so that will take that to from watts to kilowatts 8.8 .8 kw now if you want to keep doing this here's another little simple rule that you could use or a little simple trick over here say we we have the uh 8000 watts out of the 12 what i'm doing is i'm work i'm reworking this whole column right in here um, and instead of multiplying it times 0 0.10, let's throw a one in front of that decimal on the left-hand side of that decimal place, multiply it out and it will come to 8,800 Watts. So all we're doing when we do this, when we do this step right here, all we're doing is we're eliminating this step right here. So, um, just throwing that one in, on the left-hand side of that decimal saves you another step. So um, this is pretty simple, a uh, little explanation. Uh, there's a few steps in it that you could get a little um, confused on, uh, especially on this 800 area right here. Don't stop on 800. Remember, you got to put it back into the uh, 8,000. So. Uh, with that, let me show you another thing. This is what Mitchell showed us. Um, we'll use this uh, formula, backbone of a formula, however you want to remember it. But everything in green right here will always be um, this for a single range, for a single range. So that being said, oops, come on fingers off of there um, you had a 1400 kW range and then all we have to do is subtract that and this would be the kW this 12 right here comes from column C the maximum of column C so you subtract that and that would be two. Then we multiply this times 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is that 5% that came out of note one on the bottom of the table. So, um, so you multiply that times 0.5 and put it right here in this formula. So we've got the 8,000 watts, which was in column C for one range, multiply it times 1.10, comes out to 8,800 watts. 
that right there, 8,800 watts is what we got up here um, doing the long can, the longer version, whatever of this formula. Um, there again, if you want to convert it into kilowatts, move the decimal three places to the left and it will be 8.8 .8 kW. Easy. Just remember what's in the green. Um, take it down, put it in the back of your code book so you have that for your notes and work it for your um, for your ranges. Let's erase this. All this stuff, and we can we can um, put any number in here. Say you had a say you had a twenty two kW range. Let's see where's my pen at. There we go, twenty two kW range. Subtract twelve from it. That's ten. Multiply it times 0 0.05, which would end up being uh, 5, uh, 0 0.5. And then 8,000 times 1.5 equals 12,000 watts. or 12 K W. So you went from 22 K W, you went from this and it dropped it down to this. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. It dropped it down to, let's put it, let's keep you in K W. Dropped it down to that. So, uh, this little trick, uh, backbone to the formula, whatever we want to call it, it's pretty handy to have. Uh, keep it in your notes, keep it in your code book if you ever have to figure out single ranges. But once you figure out, like this one right here is, uh, this one right here is a 22 kW range. 22 kW range will always be um, 12 kW will always be 12 kW. So you can go through there and after 12, you can do a 13 kW range and then a 14 kW range and a 15 kW range and then figure out what it what the actual load is on it. Write it in your notes, write it in your code book, wherever you want it, and it'll always be the same. So if, six months from now, you come in across a 12 K, uh, 22 kW range that you need to do a calculation on. You don't have to go through all this. All you have to do is you have to go back in your notes, look at a 22 kW uh, range, and it's going to be 12 kW. So um, this is pretty easy, guys. Um, remember, this came out of the uh, 2020 NEC. And that's all I got for you guys today. Um, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, helps me out, helps the channel out. And uh, if you want to see something different or if you have any questions on this, leave me a comment and I'll get those answered out to you guys. Uh, but for now, that's all I have. So thank you for watching and be safe out there.